All right, so this video is going to be on CarPro C Quartz Deluxe. This, as it says, can go on plastic and wheels. Uh, it says it can also go on rubber. Where does it say it? Oh, it doesn't say it on here. But um, hydrophobic, semi permanent, UV proof. So um, let's see here. So, what comes with the kit is the CarPro C Quartz Deluxe. Uh, this is the 50 mil. No, this is the 30 mil. I guess the 50 mil wasn't available because I wanted to get that. So this is the 30 mil. And um, then it comes with the little applicator. I did think it was cool that uh, the Car Pro one, this is the first time using Deluxe, that uh, the Car Pro one came with its own little slits in it. Usually I take my razor knife and make those slits so you can so you don't have to hold the suede applicator on the block the whole time it just holds itself so but it comes with that block applicator it comes with i'm not sure how many it comes with a few um car pro fancy little car pro that'll focus uh micro suede applicators and um then this as everyone I'm sure would recognize is uh, an ear swab and I'll show you in a second why I have that this is a, a round round foundation sponge and uh, that you can find in the makeup section got this from Kroger's it's probably a couple bucks for 12 count uh, they also have wedges um, if you go, you'll see what I'm talking about. They have wedges, and I had some. Don't, don't know what I did with them, but anyways, you know, these are round, and uh, they're very uh, flexible, so they can get in, you know, tight areas as well. But the reason I have the ear swabs is for, you know, I'm doing this Jeep, and so certain areas in there, you know, it's easier to get with the ear swab. So, um, and this uh, I already did, but what I want to show you is, and I actually need to wipe it off right now. And I've got one of my, um, these came from the rag company. Uh, these are 10 by 10s, and I actually love this size for a lot of applications. I mainly use them for interior. But I um, figured I'd use this for the wipe off. But if you can see, you know, the left side that I've applied the deluxe, the right side that I haven't. And so I'm going to wipe this off. And there we go. So just like that. Um, it says to wait about, well, it says to wait one minute at 30 degrees Celsius and 10 minutes at 10 degrees Celsius. So uh, it's probably 70 degrees right now or 70 something. So um, I just went ahead and, and said I'll leave it for two minutes. Um, that was probably more like three or four or something. Um, but. I think it, it'll be all right. So, anyhow, um, that's the uh, that's the difference on this particular trim. Now, I made a separate video earlier that I don't think it has any. I don't in the title it won't have anything to do with saying um, Armor All Outlast, but that's what this gentleman was using on all of his plastics. And I don't know if it's showing up real good, but this stuff was um, after, I mean, with the stuff on, you know, it was a deep black and uh, very shiny. If you want to, you can go back to my previous video and I show um, a line where I took Citral and removed, you know, removed the uh, Armorall 
outlast and then on the other side you can see what it looks like with the armor roll outlast on it and um so you know once once that was removed underneath it is you know faded trim need to wipe that down so um bear with me it was bugging me so underneath it was bare trim and uh, i mean faded trim and the reason i give him credit because the reason the gentleman was putting that arm roll out last night you know he didn't know any better so the reason he was doing it because was because he didn't want his trim to fade and um or maybe fade any worse i don't know what condition it was in if it looked like this when he put it on originally or if um you know it looks like this after removing it not sure but either way he was making an effort which is more than a lot of people do nowadays so um you know he he listened to me and trust me as far as you know when i recommended doing this coating on all the trim for him um this vehicle is a garage queen that's its home uh, the majority of the time he only takes it out on the weekends I believe is what he told me so it spends a lot of time in a garage out of the elements so uh, I think CarPro says that this can last up to a year but I would not be surprised if you know this lasts two years or longer um, being a garage queen like it is so um, you know it says that it can go on uh, plastic it says it can go on rubber, like the rubber seals around the window. I'll be doing all those. Um, the rubber seals on the doors, you know, by the, where the glass. Um, since it says it can go on wheels, you know, I, I would assume it can go on painted wheels. And so this, you know, is metal, painted metal. And um, so, you know, I, I'm pretty sure, about 98% sure that he put that Armor All Outlast on this. So we did go around and uh, strip that off as well. Um, it wasn't as evident as the trim was as far as, you know, when you took that off, it was pretty evident on um, how the difference between it being on there and stripped off. Uh, this and, and the rubber seals, it wasn't as evident. It wasn't as faded. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm going to be putting the car pro deluxe on, on all of this, you know, pretty much everything that's black on the vehicle. Um, this is a separate type of textured plastic that once again is, appears to not be as faded as, um, as that. So as you can see, there's also some on the top here. That right there, though, that piece is pretty faded. So, yeah, I mean, oh, windshield wipers as well. I'll be applying it on those, and, you know, that's painted metal. But um, I want to, you know, it's got these little rubber stoppers, you know, your uh, uh, sprayers, and then, then that little handle deal there. Uh, all that will be coated the uh the lights here did you rub those lights down and then yeah. and then um you know just everything everything that pretty much that is black the mirrors uh once again uh painted metal but that will get hit and um i think that's you know pretty much it as far as what i'm gonna do on it I don't know if I'll come back. This is the tail lights is a you know different form of plastic, but um, I'll be putting it on that as well. Pretty pretty certain that he put the Armor All Outlast on that that as well. Um, and then oh uh, the wheels as well. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll make uh, another video on what it all looks like when I'm done. I figured I would just show the 
you know clear difference um, that it's making on just initial application you know so um, if your trim is not super far gone I don't know how far gone it can be I mean I consider uh, that right there to be pretty far gone so I'm interested it should it should only improve it now I don't know if it's going to bring it back to the same level of black as you know it did over here um, but it definitely should improve it a lot and um, you know that's the kind of results I wanted to show you the kind of results that you can get getting out of the light there so you know if your trim looks like this I'm not sure if this is the uh, the best lighting but in person I can definitely tell you that it's a big difference this this looks this looks really good this looks like stock OEM and um, I think I think it's gonna turn out really well so that'll probably be it for this video uh, down in the comments let me know if y'all used uh, C Quartz Deluxe and what kind of results you've had with it um, if anyone has used C Quartz I think it's been out for a while I don't know if it's been reformulated but if anybody's used it and um, they've you know had it on their vehicle or whatever for some time you know a year two years whatever you know uh, let me know down in the comments how long in your experience it lasted and you know was your vehicle garage kept or um, you know was it outside in the elements all the time you know let me know that part as well because that has a huge impact obviously so you know just let me know some of that stuff down in the comments definitely interested to hear from y'all and um, thank you to all the people that have been leaving comments on the videos. I definitely appreciate that. And, uh, you know, till the next time, y'all either be good or be good at it.